I'm holding this one for the long haul. And I'm going to tell you in this video why self-key is different than every other crypto in my entire portfolio. Let's talk about it. What's up, you guys? Carlton Flowers back again, your crypto pro Yay! here to talk about self key. I've been <laughs> promising an update on self key for a while, and life has been a little hectic, but here we are. So, we're going to talk about why I'm holding this for the long term and why self key is different than anything else that I am holding. So, first, let's get into the technicals, and then we'll come back and tell you how I use this project. All right, let's get rid of that. And here we are on the four hour chart. So let's start out with the one day chart and let's just zoom out and show you what's been happening since the last time I gave you an update. The price is currently sitting at 0 0.0024 and I had bought my original bag at 0 0.0018, I think somewhere back here. And since then, I lost all of my self key tokens when I got hacked. But that's another story for another day and you'll wanna hear about it. I got back in again here recently. I think it was right, and let's see, here we are, zooming into today when we cross this 4.236 Fib Circle boundary right here, right at the biggest volume node. I went ahead and I bought back in and I did not want to wait until later on this month for the price to dip, which I think it's gonna dip a little bit more because I just wanted to get over it and not take a chance on missing out on grabbing my bag. So I only picked up about, what, 114,000 tokens and it was at a cost of just under 300 bucks. Small price to pay, especially considering how I use this project. And I'll tell you about that next when I come back on with my handsome face. What's been happening since then, since uh, the beginning, since I bought it? Well, let me show you this. Let's just draw on the chart. The thing that stood out to me the most was this overall kind of slightly ascending baseline consolidation move. Of course, we had the big, huge pump all the way up to one cent, and then we had the dump back down. But notice where it came back down, right back to the ascending baseline. So a lot of people were upset when it pumped and dumped and thought, well, this is just a scam project. It's no good. There's a lot of problems that are going on with the development of the self-key wallet, blah, blah, blah. But I ignore this and I ignore every one of these little pumps because my attention, like I said, is on the overall rising baseline. It just keeps moving on up. Now, I really don't care if it does violate this base and move down to this previous base here or right here somewhere around the price point of let's see that lower base is at 0 0.0016 and the next one is at 0 0.001885 if it does dip down to either one of those i am going to buy a bunch more now let's zoom into the four hour and look what's been happening here I drew another little baseline here because I noticed that we bounced once, twice, three times a lady. And every time you have that third bounce, you, you usually will um, fall straight through the floor, which it did. But notice when we jump back down to the 4.236 magical fib circle boundary that usually predicts pivot points, it just jumped right back up to this blue baseline. So we're right back there again. So I'm not really worried. So that's looking pretty good. Right now the stochastic is looking somewhat bullish, but this thing could kind of do one of these numbers where it rounds off and goes back down here into the oversold zone, which it might do as we approach Christmas time when everyone starts to sell to go out and buy Christmas presents and when people at the end of the year start getting rid of their holdings for tax purposes. But that's just going to present me another opportunity and I'll probably end up putting up a strike zone box uh, that might look like, you know, this. It might be down here back in the original range when I bought. I'll either double or triple my bag when that happens. 
on balance volume is really looking good because it's still on this steady incline. You know, we've had these little spikes and it comes back down, but each time it comes down, it's coming back down to a base that continues on this slight rise. Let's look at that OBV on the one day here. Let me turn off drawing mode and we will zoom right on out. So look at this OBV. This is a chart that you want to take chances on. Not financial advice. Don't listen to me or you'll lose all your money. Let me correct myself. This is a chart that I love to jump on. This is the best type of chart that you can find when you trade the way I do, where we had this nothing happening here, slight dip during, um, I think that was March, right after March. And then notice how we level up. We hit this point, we level off. We hit that major spike. And notice that after this peak up here and all the way back down, we didn't return the same amount of distribution on the on balance volume and then it leveled off. Then we had this little bump. Well, guess what it did? It leveled up again. Then we had this little bump here. It leveled up again. So we have a slightly rising base that every time we have significant movement, we level up. Here was number one, then it leveled up here, then it leveled up here again and again. It doesn't get better than that, guys. And so while the stochastic is showing very bearish, okay, so look at the stochastic here. We could end up down here in the oversold zone, like I said, during the Christmas season, people tend to jump off the bandwagon and they unload. But with the on balance volume steadily moving upward right here, okay, I'm not worried about what the stochastic does because this is the general direction of the OBV, which is the approximation of what the institutional investors, whales, the strong hands, whatever you want to call them. It's trying to approximate how much people are loading up or getting rid of it. So a lot of people will say, well, self keys not making a strong price movement. Why isn't the price going up if this is such a great project? Well, first of all, the price has nothing to do with how good the project is. Everything corrects. Bitcoin is a great project, but throughout the bear market, it corrected. Ethereum is a great project, but it has come down off of its peak at what, 630? And it's in a correction mode. That's a normal market swing, okay? We're in a downward swing channel, but while we're in that downward swing channel across the board with everything else, self key is just quietly accumulating and moving up this overall baseline. And what I think is going on is where you'll have these insiders that just keep picking up small amounts, itty bitty amounts, because when you buy too much, you cause this to happen, a premature spike but they don't want to cause that rush until they get as much of this project as they possibly can. So then when they trick everybody else into a frenzy, they can unload and make massive profits. So what do I do? I just follow the crowd. I follow the inside investors and I do what they do. So I say, hey, the longer this accumulation takes place, the better. I don't want to see this yet. I don't want to see that happen. I want to see it stay down here and languish along this base where I can even continue to consolidate and get more and more and more. So that's a good thing. We don't really need to be concerned with that. Now, let's clear that and jump back into the four hour chart. So as I said before, we can see that the stochastic is kind of moving up, but you know, this is probably, like I said, it's gonna round off, you know, it'll do something like this and then we'll hit another cycle or it could run up a little bit and we'll either stick around this huge volume node here at the point of control price or we could move back up here to the 2.0026 level. And during this time, we might see our little um, spikes happen. I mean, who knows? We've got the 4.618 Fib Circle ring that is up above right here where we could jump to that and jump back down. Or we could just crawl down along the 4.236 Fib Circle boundary. So it's all good. Now, let's clear this out and let's talk about the actual use case of this project. So self-key is a wallet, like Civic. I love Civic, I'm bullish on that, and I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. But there's one big difference of why I like self-key more than any of these other wallets, and it's the use case. So I'm pulling it up on my phone. Here is the uh, 
application right there backwards is that backwards or is it forwards oh well um, I'm gonna log in with my fingerprint which means that it's secure so no one can get in this thing so there's my tokens right there and then I'm gonna go over to profile and you can see that it says informations somebody knows speaky good English that's one of the indications of all of the troubling little things there's a lot of problems with the app and they're languishing on fixing them and there's a lot of improvements that they need to be making and are having a tough time but they're pushing through but we have a usable product okay what got me interested in this in the first place was what i use it for so when you go into profile you'll notice that you've got a section that says documents okay and so in documents in fact i can even bring this up on the screen i can show you this on my actual uh, Samsung app so I'm gonna try to pull this up on the screen and connect to the phone and show you what it actually looks like but while that is uh, coming up I'll just tell you what some of the documents that I keep on here um, one of the documents is my insurance card so I always forget my insurance card and if I go to the hospital or something like that um, let's see unlock with fingerprint oh it's wanting me to do it on the screen I don't know if I could do it that way or not yeah there it is okay I'm gonna put this on the screen I'm gonna show you this now here is my little self key all right hopefully it's not showing my secret keys or anything like that but let's go to profile so not only can you keep your tokens but you can keep these documents so you see that I've got my driver's license that's kind of cool and then I have a utility bill that was for verification purposes bank statement and then it has this external document two files well let's jump into here is it gonna let me jump into there I don't know if it is or not but when you click on this you'll be able to open it well at any rate I'll just have to tell you what's in here I have a picture of my my insurance card so if I forget my insurance card and I'm at the pharmacy and I want to pick up my prescription instead of running back home I can pull up my phone pull up my self key wallet bam there it is right there or let's say I'm out and about, um, I'm traveling and I wanna do some shopping and I forgot my debit card and I wanna get something on Amazon or something like that. I can store a picture of my debit cards on self key instead of having a picture on the phone because if I lose the phone and somebody gets in it, they can steal that. But since this is secured by blockchain, I have a secure picture of my debit cards where I can go right in here and use it. So, for example, I was at my shop today and I had forgotten to pay the water bill the month before, had a notice on the door. I was like, oh crap, I need to pay the bill real quick. Reached in my pocket, I didn't have my debit card. So I was like, crap, well I'm going to do a little work, run home, get my debit card and I'll pay it. So while I was in there painting a car, they came by, the water company, and they shut the water off. Ah! Dumb me. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. So then I Yo, thought, why dummy. don't I have a picture of the debit card on my self key app? because then I could go right to that. I could have called the water company, read off my numbers and had a picture, maybe have a picture of the back of it with the security code and I could have paid it on the spot. So that's what I love about this app. I can keep these secure documents right here and then not have to worry about um, being out and about and not having something when I need it. If I don't have my driver's license, I can pick it up right here. If I get pulled over or something like that, I can pull up my driver's license here if I've forgotten it. And so I can move my tokens to this wallet and keep them securely. And there's a lot of, uh, look at all the different um, tokens that they have listed here. Pretty good variety, okay? So it looks like they've done a lot of work there. Lots of different tokens. And then if I am traveling, I can send these to MetaMask, to my MetaMask wallet on my phone, and then I can trade from there. I can safely trade if I want to. You got the marketplace here, and this is not for the US because they got the whole KeyFi thing, and it's a DeFi app for staking and earning staking rewards, but it's not approved in the US, so I don't get to do that. But if you're outside of the US, you could do staking right here on your app. So this is why I love this project. And this is the only crypto project I have of anything that I own right now or even considering buying where I actually have everyday use out of it. So that's why I'm thinking, okay, number one, the price is at 0.0024. Find me 
A project out there that is priced this low, besides maybe mainframe, that has an actual use case, something you can use every day. You ain't gonna find it. So I learned my lesson when I had Ave when it was Lend and it dipped down to 0.002 and I knew it had a very good use case, but in the summer of 2019, I got rid of it when it moved up to five cents, I sold it. Well, it went up 445 times. It was a 445X from the low point of 0.002 when it spiked at 90 cents before they did the reverse split and changed it to Ave. So I said to myself, I'm not ever gonna make that mistake again. I am going to hang on to this bag of self key and I'm not gonna trade it. And I'm gonna wait until the bull run next fall before I even think about unloading it because it might be the biggest gainer of everything that I have. Now, do your own research and I could be wrong, but I think if I have the patience, this is gonna pay off. And meanwhile, I'm loving using the app. Let me know what you think about self-key. Post it in the comments below. Do you have it or would you like to download it? Go get it and give me your thoughts. The one thing that I'm waiting for them to do is get this on another exchange besides Hotbit because I can't stand Hotbit. I'd love to see them get picked up by Coinbase or Kraken, um, something other than Hotbit or you could also trade it on Uniswap. And we all know I hate Uniswap. So that would be a nice improvement besides all of the bug fixes that they have left to go. Okay, like and subscribe if you have not. We have 555 in the group, 555. Congratulations, guys, let's grow this. We're gonna get to 1,000 so I can do updates on YouTube stories, and that will be awesome. But until then, you can tick the bell when you subscribe so you can get an alert when I post an update that is very important for you to hear if we have some critical developments. And again, don't forget to go to the Telegram group. And if you want to see my analysis on all of my hot picks, all you have to do is search pound TA and it'll cut through all of the conversations. You can go great. You can go straight rather to all of my technical analysis when I do the four hour charts and one hour charts looking at everything that is happening. I usually get everything posted a couple times a week throughout my entire hot list. Also, there's there's some new stuff coming. I still have that special guest that I'm going to have and I'm also working on some really cool merch so I can raise money to keep on producing these videos to help cover the horrendous cost of this high-speed internet access and the reason why I have this gaming computer now and I've spent all this money is so I can do live broadcasts. Would you guys like me to do a live? Yay! If you are interested in that where we can chat back and forth and do a live when the market gets hot, let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you're interested in some really cool merch. I'm working on some Litecoin stuff right now as we speak. But anyway, that's all I got for now. This is Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. And I'm going to have to step up on out of here because I got to get back to my body shop and do some work. We'll see you then.